not surprised that the, the biggest thing there is uh, communication and handoff uh, followed by accountability and ownership and overselling. Never mind, I'm going to keep going on and on. Um, but communication, right? Because at the end of the day, that that is one of the biggest challenges. And you know, that's a lot of times that's communicating. Like, if, are you doing? Is the right discovery being done um, with the customer? And guess what? The discovery doesn't stop with the sales team. The discovery happens all throughout the post sale motion with the customer every single time you chat with them. That's how you ensure a renewal. Or or see if there's red flags happening with the renewal. So I think communication is huge. Also handoffs, right? That That's all about alignment. Either it, there is or there isn't. And, and I think, you know, really, that's where I think segmentation and I think journeys come into play. Because if you get alignment on what the customer should expect at every stage, who does what, what are the swim lanes, how do we work together, then those handoffs would, would be more seamless. And I'm talking about a perfect world, of course. But those are the sort of things that we can envision for best pro, um, you know, uh, practices and accountability on all sides, including the customer side, because I think a lot of times that does happen. If they're not, you know, a clear path isn't defined for them of what to expect and what needs to happen, then sometimes they're, they're just like, well, you just onboard me. And I know with especially complex products, uh, you know, it, it, sometimes it's, the customer has to provide data, has to do certain steps to help implement that. So that means them getting all their stakeholders involved in the process. So, but I'd love to hear what everybody else thinks about this uh, this little word um, wordplay here.